Hey fellow haunters, this year's projects we're going to be a motion sensor for a prop. Um, this year I'm going to try to do a video for building my groundbreaker. As you can see I got them hooked up to a motion sensor that I made. Um, parts brought off eBay mostly and some from Home Depot and um, bought the you see this little box right here, which was worked out really well. It comes out looking like something like this. Bought off eBay for like $2.71 a piece. Come from, I think, China, this one. But they worked so well is that you could use these two sides for the cord, top side for your motion sensor. Also bought off eBay. Um, on here, you got your slight sensor long it's going to be on and the sensitivity on it and that was bought off ebay and let me see how much i paid for that one i think it was four dollars and seven cents i think it was from singapore this one so but you can't get in any cheaper united states wise you can't you know at home depot it's like twice or triple that so uh, what i did buy from home depot is i bought the steak that was uh, it's made out of metal, which is really great, and it's four dollars or six dollars and forty-seven cents, at least in Michigan. It might be more other way, elsewhere. And as you can see, it's right there. Um, also, only thing I could find with a multiple um, outlet was a husky, fifteen footer, cut in half, and one half goes on one side, which feeds the prop. Other half goes the other side, which is feeding the power. Um, it says for indoor use only. It's a heavy duty card. And for any outlets that I do not have open or have open, I'm using child protector safety caps over it so it doesn't get any water or anything like that. I'm not intending it just to be outside all year round, just for my haunt hours, you know, and the, the, the days I have it out there. All right, I'm gonna slowly start building one, another one, because I need another one, because I'm building another groundbreaker, kind of like him, but it's gonna be a, a Dracula one. And I'll hopefully be able to get a video out on him prior to Halloween. If not, it's gonna be a little bit after Halloween this year. But uh, he turned out really well. As you can see, the mask is a little <laughs> different this year. I ended up uh, finding uh, eyes on eBay, another place I always look on eBay, and I got them from overseas. And um, he, I just cut out the eyes in him. Well, I just motion detected it again. But um, he's going to also hopefully scream too. I got a thing I'm doing on that too, so we'll talk about that later. But uh, I cut out the eyes and put new eyes in him and put liquid latex around it and used some uh, blood that I got from Fright Props, prop blood. And uh, he looks pretty good. I got to mess him up a little bit more to make him look, look more of a zombie. But that's about it there. But we'll get into what's building, how to do this prop itself or do any motion sensor for your prop. And I like how it looks being black and it matches in with everything else. So it doesn't just stand out. So, all right, let me get to start building it. All right, I got the weatherproof box open and uh, took the one connector off the top. Uh, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to mount the motion sensor to the top up here. I'll show you that when it's completed. That's, of course, the uh, cover for it. Don't need to use the weatherproof or actually the terminal block that you use because it's just, like I said, too small in here to have all the things that are going to go in there. Um, so I'm going to have to sacrifice those right now and use it something else. Um, right now, I'm going to have to put a half-inch hole on the bottom just like the top so I can put the stake into it. So let me get that done. Okay, I drilled a hole in the bottom of the box. Had to use like a half inch Forstner bit on it. It does the best work. But one thing you'll notice is that I had to cut it really close to the back because on these stakes, they got uh, this lip right here. And if you go too far, it's gonna hit into that and will not get a good seat on it. So you have to go pretty close to the back as you can see. All right, wanted to show that before I started building it. All right, put the stake inside of it. As you can see, you can't really get any threads on it or put any lock nut on it. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to use black um, hot glue, and I'm going to go all the way around that, go around the back here a little bit, and secure it as much as possible. It, when you do it with hot glue and all that, it turns out that, uh, especially I use black, but um, 
it works well it doesn't move it will not move so let me get that done all right I hot glued it these are hollow on the top so I put hot glue on the top of it of the uh, stake so nothing can get inside there water or anything like that then hot glued it all the way around it's really solid now it's not going to move so now I'm going to put the motion sensor in there I already cut the 15 foot husky um, outlet in half uh, about seven and a half feet on each side and then I'm going to start wiring that strip it wire it and I'll show you how you wire this okay and that's it for there let me get the new sensor uh, installed. all right mounted and mounted uh, the motion sensor in there and now I'm gonna strip the ends of the power cord put them both inside the box and then I'll show you how to wire it so you get it wired correctly because uh, if you don't wire it correctly <laughs> it's gonna work so let me get that going on all right I got the wire stripped and the female outlet side which goes to your prop is on the left side as you're looking at it power coming into the sensor is on the right side and stripped it like I said seven foot and a half about each side it's about equal distance strip the wires there's a black white green in each side black white green on the sensor which you'll get hopefully you'll get the, the paperwork on it like I did from off of uh, eBay and through China but it was actually in English which was great um, comes in three colors in it you got a red a brown and a blue so first thing you got to do is get the power coming in all right and that is going to go to your brown lead and I'll get that done and move on I got the brown lead to the black power in okay next is your red lead is going to go to your power to the prop so we wire not that two together and I'll get on okay. there so I got the red from the sensor the PIR going to the black going back to the prop so now what leaves is the blue and your neutral your two whites have to be put together with the blue wire and then your green will have to be just the same thing as just wiring up those two greens together and I'll show that done in a second so like I said before first things first we started out with the black power in going to the brown lead red going to the black lead going to the prop the two neutrals are together go straight through but you include the blue wire from the s um the, the uh, pir two green wires going through grounds go straight through and you just wire nut those back together and it's all complete all you gotta do is throw the cover on it and uh, adjust the sensor which with this you also got the how to adjust the sensor and it has like 180 degree um, uh, sensing plus like up to 36 feet I think it is 12 meters but you have light sensors you have time how long you want that to stay on and how sensitive it is so you have to work on that part um, and especially if you're doing a night prop and, and that you really have to work on this to get it just right but uh, I'll hopefully have it all right and uh, like I said I'm going to try to get these groundbreaker videos and done and if not if it's not done by Halloween I'm sorry guys but yeah boy it's a busy time of year all right well enjoy this hopefully you make one and uh, actually this has turned out a lot better than expected and I like it how it's black and it's much smaller than a lot of the other ones I've seen on uh, YouTube. Have a good day. Happy haunting.